good to the Jess family out there? What's good, man? Just tapping in, you know what I'm saying? To, to get us ready and prepared for that early-ass Sunday game in London. Uh, my time is going to be like 7.30 a.m. So, you know, might have to call it an early night on a Saturday. But if you don't, just drink lots of water in the morning, man. Try to hydrate yourself and get ready for that for that London game. You know what I'm saying? But going forward with it, um, we have a real chance to actually get a little hot streak going, man. Dare I say two wins in a row? I'm not going to jump ahead of myself and we can't overlook Atlanta because they are one of the top teams in scoring this year so far. And they still got old-ass Matt Ryan still slinging that ball around, you know, throwing the ball accurately, um, precisely, doing what he does as a veteran, as always. And um, we just got to put a lot of pressure on him, man, with that front seven. I mean, you know, in the comments, man, I <laughs> Somebody was like, man, could you imagine this defense with Carl Lawson on it? That'd be scary, wouldn't it? I'm sorry, that was just a side note, man. But with the defense that we do have at this moment, if everybody's going, if everybody's staying healthy, hopefully the Sunday, um, we can apply the pressure, man, and not let Matt Ryan breathe, make him turn red. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Under that helmet, like, damn, here they come again. You know, the secondary's been a big surprise to me, too, this year, man. Bryce Hall and them, man. Secondary been doing their job, man. Um, especially, you know, they got to do it this Sunday, you know, especially with, with our boy out on safety, um, dealing with that ankle injury, you know what I'm saying? But they, I want to say for the, for the Falcons, um, Calvin Ridley's out. Russell Gage is out. And uh, they defensive tackle Marlon Davidson is out. I mean, it, the injuries is riddling the team on both sides of the ball. But hopefully we, as uh, the offense, um, our Jets O-line can put that thing together like they did last week. Let Zach Wilson have some breathing room in that pocket. And hopefully we can do some rollout plays for him to extend the play like he's been doing, especially in the last game. That's his, that's his skill set. Now, you know, as as our team progresses forward this year with a lot of rookie uh, rookies, you know, doing what they do or dealing with what they have to deal with going forward, like in a LaFleur and um, first time coach uh, head coach in Salah, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be some bumps in the road. There's going to be some uh, headaches, you know, like we dealt with in the first two games, the first three games, you know what I'm saying? But as Jets fans, you know, and I, th I want to thank y'all, too, for just bringing me back down to earth and saying, yo, it's a patient thing that we got to deal with this year. But, you know, you start having flashbacks of bad things that have happened to Jets fans all their career and they <laughs> careers of being Jets fans. Like, not this again. Or oh, hell no, not this again. So, you know, me personally, I'm quick to just flash off like, here we go. You've seen me on several of my videos, man, where I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Especially with the Adam Gase era. Thank God that's the past. And hopefully we've learned from it, and it looks like we are trying to learn from it. Um, but, yeah, there's going to be some hiccups in a row, some bumps in a row. Um, we just got to be patient. And a young Robert Sala as a head coach, LaFleur, I think he's going to be a great offensive coordinator. At first it looked very sketchy. Um, but I think he's learning on the fly just like we all are on the fly, just trying to learn and see what this offense and this defense can do. Defense is already molding the ground, but the offense, we're still trying to find an identity for ourselves. Like in the running game, it's pretty pretty evident that they need to work on some of the um, running schemes or try to get these guys, you know, in the right position to gain some yardage. And in week two, was it? Was it week two? No, it was week three. Running game was doing their job. So hopefully we can find out what the formula is to help that running game um, to, to open up that play action pass on Sunday against the Falcons. And I, I'm thinking their defense ain't that, ain't that tight. So if we can expose that defense early, and if we could jump off on them early, 
you know, get a quick seven up on them early. Let's be the ones to score. Let's be the ones to be aggressive in this, man. Because it's about that time that we show this league that we ain't no clowns no more. Ain't no clowning around with the Jets no more, you know. I'm tired of us being the memes of every Sunday or the Monday after Sunday. And uh, last weekend allowed us to breathe a little bit. Hold our head up a little bit. But on that note, let me know in the comments down below on what y'all think we should do. And uh, I really appreciate the subscriptions. I'm just a, I'm just a man talking shit, man, as a fan. And, um, you know, helping helping go through the, the forward progress on seeing our team get to the place where we want them to be. That promised land. And on that note, man, I just had to chime in with my peeps. Let me know what you think. I'll be in touch. And like I always say, J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Get it, baby. I'll holler.